All right, this is your drill. This is your go-to drill. And this drill you can use, uh, I mean, to start off every range session, I think this is a great drill to use because it just, it just gives you the sensation, the feel of solid contact. So there's a couple big keys. Number one, we're not going to be flipping and rolling the club on the backswing because if we're doing that, then we're going to have to flip and roll the club to come back through impact. So the first key is that we're going to get set up in a position that keeps us from having to do the flip and roll on the backswing. So that just looks like this. And the reason it looks like this, and I've got a pitching wedge here, is because if you have the club set up in this manner so that the club is sitting with the shaft kind of vertical, you can see that the contact point on the ball is going to be very low, like on the first or second groove. So if I want to hit this ball solidly, I've got to have the shaft leaning slightly, especially with my more lofted clubs. I have to have the shaft leaning slightly toward the target in order for the contact point to be on the third or the fourth groove on the face. So that's getting us set up for solid impact. And then in our swing, we're not going to change that. We're not going to flip and roll the club back, going back because then we'd have to flip and roll it coming through and that would be a pretty inconsistent move. So number one, setting up with the club in position to strike the ball solidly. Then we're gonna create a stable base for our swing. So we're gonna get our right foot in a position that feels almost like it's in a runner's block, like it's, it's braced up against something and it's gonna feel almost like a kickstand, like we can't move outside of that right leg. So the pressure will be a little bit on the inside of that right foot. So we'll set the handle in position for impact and then we'll brace that right foot or brace that right leg. The next piece and really the final piece is that our backswing is going to be initiated by our body. You know, kind of think about from the belt buckle to the top of our shoulders. That's what's gonna start this backswing. So I'm just gonna set these alignments that I've set up at address and I'm going to try to keep them in my backswing. So just turning my shoulders back or turning my body back and then coming through, I'm going to get the same sensation where I'm just turning my body through. And because I've already set up an address for solid contact, I don't have to do anything extra with my hands coming through impact. So again, I haven't flipped the club on the backswing, so I don't have to flip it coming through. So the shot looks like this. We set the handle forward so that now it's in a solid impact alignment. We brace that right leg so that we can't shift our weight off the ball, so we're already ready for impact. And then we just turn our body back and turn our body through. So you'll notice in my follow through, I didn't have the club flipping or passing my hands. I, I just tried to maintain or keep the alignments that I set up at address and turn my body and keep all of that consistent going through. That that swing is the basis for all of my shots. Every shot from a, a sand wedge to a driver, even a putter, I'm setting up my impact alignments and then just maintaining those impact alignments. So that's why this drill is so valuable because it teaches you solid contact. It teaches you a simple way to get set up with the impact alignments in place and then make a swing that doesn't get rid of those alignments. It doesn't change them, so you don't have to do anything different coming into impact. You just have to get set to impact or set up in your ideal impact position and then turn back with your body and turn through with your body. I hit another ball. So that's the swing, that's, that's what we're trying to accomplish here. Again, we're getting set up with the handle forward, the right leg's braced, we're turning back and turning through with our body. We're not opening that club face because if we open that club face on the backswing, we're gonna have to close it coming through. That's gonna lead to inconsistencies. So we're just setting, bracing, turning back, turning through, keeping everything the same. The drill is gonna take about 30 balls, 20 to 30 balls, you're going to make two practice swings and then you're going to hit a shot. So for every ball that you hit, you're going to make sure that you make three swings. Two practice swings, one shot. And the practice swings are going to look just like this. You're going to set up to an imaginary ball about three inches inside your actual ball. You're going to set your handle forward into the impact alignment. You're going to brace your right leg. You're going to turn back and turn through. And you're, the things you're going to check for are, did I brush the turf on the target side of the ball? If I'm set up in this alignment, when I make my shoulder turn back, shoulder turn through, 
I should brush the turf on the target side of the ball. That's telling me that I'm going to have a forward low point and that I can have solid contact. So that's checkpoint number one, the one thing, first thing we're looking for. The second thing we might want to be aware of is in my backswing, did my face stay square to its arc? Did, I, did the club just stay the way it was at a dress and I just turned my shoulders? Or did when I swing back, did I open that club face? If I've opened that club face, I can't just rotate through because then I'd come through with an open club face. So I'd have to roll the club through. So I want to make sure that the club face is staying square to the arc in my swing. And the final thing I'm looking for in these rehearsals is did I just turn my body through and maintain all of those impact alignments? And a really easy way to check is after you've made your through swing, just turn your body back to impact and see if all those alignments are still intact. Most of the time, this is the hardest part because we're so used to rolling and flipping the club through impact that in, your, in our follow through, we tend to see the club really high. The club head will go up really high. So if I come back to my impact position, we can see all of this is, all of this is changed. So if I'm, again, if I'm setting everything at a dress, I don't need to make any of those changes coming through. I actually want to make sure that my body's really rotating through impact and maintaining those alignments. If I slow my body down and stop the rotation, that's when that flip takes over. So I really want to, the third checkpoint that I'm looking for is that as I rotate through, all the alignments stay the same. So the final note for this drill, if you're doing it for the first time, do small shots. I've got a pitching wedge here. Um, it doesn't need to go any farther than 40 or 50 yards. You're really trying to make sure that you get the sensation of solid contact and you get the sensation of this simple movement of turning back and turning through and maintaining your alignments. So I'm going to hit one more. Again, my keys are that I set the handle up for impact or I set the club up the way I want it to be at impact. And then I brace my right leg so that I don't shift off the ball and rock off the ball. And then as I turn through, I'm just going to focus on keeping all of my alignments the same so that I can have a consistent contact every time. So I set the handle forward into impact, make sure the right leg is braced, turn back and turn through. And that way I can guarantee consistent contact every time.